Hi, I just wanted to say an enormous thank you to everyone who turned up. Last Thursday, we did a, a one-off uh, webinar about <clears throat> how to build a really good team when we're all sitting in this virtual world. And at the end of the webinar, I asked people, um, could you give me some feedback? Would you like to do this again? We, we pretty much had a full house, which is extraordinary. Um, and um, the overwhelming feedback was this this has been great it's been really helpful um, uh, but consistently what I've been asked for is could we make this into some kind of series rather than these ad hoc one bits of, of learning so that we can build on some of the things that um, we shared last week so I thought I would have a little bit of um, fun with this which is the kind of the spirit uh, with within which we uh, we got together last week and I've called called it the lockdown learning series okay and we're going to start on um, sort of a five week um, module of learning about how to build great teams in this new virtual world where you know many of us are working from home and we'll start on Thursday the 2nd of April I'm going to take you through this there's a there's a there's a bit to cover but these are sort of if you if i was um building a new team um had an existing team who've just been sent all over the uh the globe um or my team are virtual and always have been virtual what would i do um and where would i start so that's the kind of spirit in which the um, series of steps have been built. So we've got five modules over five weeks every Thursday. And the first module covers individual thriving. And the reason why is you can't have amazing teams if you don't understand what helps people to thrive at an individual level. It's a no-brainer, really. Um, now, there's a simple acronym that I've built called the EMPOWERS um, acronym that combines a number of different sciences which will help you personally and it will also help your team to feel more engaged, um, happier at work, more productive, um, they'll work better with each other and so on and so forth. So that acronym covers about 10 years of learning in, in one simple model and uh, it's the beginning of a, a deeper understanding of how to get the best out of people to then you know create these extraordinary teams whether you're um, you know virtual or not now the next step is um, now that we understand the individual I'm going to go into more detail on the neuroscience of teams so I kind of skimmed over it quite quickly when we were together last week um, but in this module in this week I'm going to delve into more detail of, of how great teams really tick and I'll draw more on social cognitive neuroscience and David Rock's SCARF model um, and from that we'll create some um, weekly interventions that will help your team and I think they're especially essential in this time of remote working. The next module is what I call a capable context. Now culture, I've heard it described as this is the way we do things around here except that's not accurate because often our work context is conscious and unconscious yet still has a profound impact on how we all operate. So in this particular module We'll share the latest from social social physics to learn how you can create an amazing context to help your teams thrive, especially when working remotely. Um, and then we'll look at this idea of business agility, not agile, but business agility. Um, because for the last two decades, we've been helping organizations become more innovative, adaptive and agile. And to move away from this focus on our brands or products to more of a focus on human potential and, then, and the tools that enable innovation and value delivery. So what I thought I would do is take everything we've learned so far and link that with our top five lessons from the last 22 years of helping organizations adapt to, um, to this kind of world we're in today. And that will also help you to help your company to thrive in this era of volatility, uncertainty, complexity and ambiguity. There's a mouthful for you. Now, the last module on um, week five is really about change. And change is changing. What do I mean by that? Um, once you've completed all these modules, the obvious question is, well, what the heck do I do with all of that information? And in this module, we'll share the latest findings in how change really occurs at the individual level. So we'll look at some behavioral psychology and some habit science, but also at the organizational level, which links um, systems theory 
with um, a newer science of social physics just to help you drive effective change at the team level but also to inspire change at the organizational level. So our change models that we've used in the past are fundamentally flawed and what I'll be sharing with you really is um, why um, this whole area of change is changing so dramatically. These whole new models of change that are proven and you'll see them post this COVID-19 world, you'll see them um, becoming more the norm. So finally, uh, sharing um, you know, with your peers and simple actions every week. So every, every uh, module will have time set aside for everyone to share tools, tips and hacks, but also to ask more detailed questions, which is really important. And in addition, we'll also be sharing three simple interventions per week for you to choose from and test. So you just take one of the three and you test that every week for yourself your team, and even, believe it or not, for your family, because some of this science will help for those of you who've got your family uh, at home as well. So remember, everything that we share in these five modules over the five uh, weeks is based on good, solid science or proven at the coal face experience. So it's a, a free program, um, and it's really about helping you succeed in this time of great challenge and it's an opportunity for us to put some good stuff out into the world because more of that, I think, is a good thing. Now, I've popped my photo at the bottom of the infographic for those who don't know me. Um, and my name is Alan Furlong and I'm part of the RadTech team here, Head of Business Performance. But I have been delivering virtually um, for, blimey, 15 plus years. So I built two successful businesses um, based on uh, virtual delivery and virtual teams. Um, and not only that, I have taught the science of human thriving, team thriving, for well over 12 years as well. Primarily because I burned out in between those two successful businesses. So I learned a lot about what makes us um, perform well without killing ourselves at the same time. So um, we are at this tipping point right now of tremendous change. Um, we will not go back to the way things were um, pre, -pre COVID-19. Many of the changes that we're seeing will continue and will accelerate and you're right at the tipping point. So please come along, upgrade your toolkit, have some fun, share with your peers and I look forward to seeing you this Thursday at 12.30. Take care.